When it comes to rooms, they're usually generated from the schematic design and then pushed over to the PCB. But we can also create rooms manually in the PCB document. The design menu is where you'll find the majority of the commands to create a room yourself. You can place a simple rectangular room around a group of components. You can place a polygonal room to give you flexibility on component placement. Or you can select a group of components and create a room to encompass those components. Now if you've watched our other related videos, you'll know that a room definition rule is created for every room in the design. If you wanted, you could add a new room definition rule directly from here, which would also create a new room. By clicking on the Define button, you can place it over a group of components or anywhere in the PCB. As we mentioned before, rooms are usually automatically generated for each schematic, and this is determined in the project options. When we push the changes from the schematic to the PCB, it will detect changes as we have rooms that were manually created in the PCB, and the engineering change order will want to remove them from our design. In order to prevent this, we can set the Remove Rooms option to ignore differences as shown here. The same would apply to component classes if any have been added manually as well. So we've only covered a few quick methods to manually create rooms in the PCB, but take some time to become familiar with creating rooms and watch our other related videos to see what else rooms are capable of doing.